Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, June 7th, 2022. Uh, back from vacation. Yeah. And uh, it was a good one. Uh, took some naps, did some reading, hung out with the fire department crew one uh, one afternoon. So yeah, just a, a good time. And the past weekend, we got up to Minnesota to see Caleb and Taylor and uh, grandbaby Charlotte. So that was a, a good time. Good time. So uh, about 62 degrees here at the house, cloudy. Partly cloudy, some peeking through every now and again. And uh, I should be outside, but I'm running short of time and didn't want to get all set up out there. Um, but I had to get uh, get back to work here after vacation. So check-in time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here, Pastor John's Blessed Beans. Oh, cheers, church. And our devotion today comes from... <coughs> Powering uh, off. Whoops. <laughs> my uh, Bluetooth speaker just powered off. Um, my Our devotion today comes from uh, Sanctuary First. Um, I realized as I'm looking through my stuff here today that I forgot my Word in Season and Christ in Our Home at the church when I recorded those uh, a couple Thursdays ago. Or no, two Sundays ago. I recorded uh, last week's Devos and then forgot the books there. So I'm at home, but I don't have those. But Sanctuary First is an online resource. And uh, in sanctuaryfirst.org, you can search for that and have a daily devotion from them. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do today. And the first, the scripture reading is from uh, Sanctuary First is out of the Church of Scotland. And so, uh, so yeah, I don't know why I said that, but uh, yeah, it's out, out of the Church of Scotland. <laughs> anyway, and our, our scripture reading is uh, from First Corinthians two one to eleven. So I'm reading it off my computer. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not, pl were not with plausible words of wisdom, but with de demonstration of the spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom but on the power of God. Yet among the mature, we do speak wisdom, though it is not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages of our, which God decreed before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For what human being knows what is truly human, except the human spirit that is within? So also no one comprehends what is truly God's, except the Spirit of God. The title of the Devo is Kites, and it was written by uh, James Cathcart, who is at Sanctuary First. And uh, his devotion is uh, a kite, is basically a poem, a prose of kites. When, when you think of a kite, what do you think of? Maybe the little the diamond shape that you had as a kid that you uh, would uh, run real fast and it would go up into the air. There are box kites. There's uh, all sorts of fancy kites now that uh, fighting kites and demonstration kites and things like that, that uh, performances that kite flyers do. So anyway, the uh, devotion is titled Kites, a light framework full of color, tethered just to the bearer, but pulled aloft into the heavens to catch the wind, winding out and gathering back, patched and worn, restrung and mended, thrown into the depths of the sky once more. Whispered words as we squint into the clouds, hoping each prayer is spirit caught, spirit held, kites soaring in God's wisdom as the colors begin to dance. That's a really beautiful sight, a beautiful image to, to, uh, to think about that our prayers are like kites that are we send up and they are spirit held and spirit caught, and uh, and as and and yeah, 
and then those prayers all begin to, be, be, begin to dance together in God's wisdom. The colors of the kite, the colors of our prayers, the so that uh, that float through the air. Yeah. So think of that today as you as you say your prayers that we send them up like kites. Um, and they are colorful and they are beautiful. Sometimes they're patched and worn, and sometimes they're yeah, the framework is barely holding it all together. But those are the prayers we send, and the prayers that that get, the spirit catches and holds and brings to God. Yeah. So be a strong heart, good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your mask, distance as appropriate. We do all these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Spirit of God, give us the means of glimpsing your meaning in the tumult. Amen. That's a good prayer too. Blessings upon you this day. Peace. <laughs>